YouTube. Welcome back to Life of a Black Rose, starring yours truly, uh, the Black Rose herself. Let's get it. I'm the Black Rose. Let's get it. I'm the Black Rose. Ooh, who's that? I'm the Black Rose. Yeah. What again? I'm the Black Rose. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the Black Rose. Ha, I'm the Black Rose. Say it again. I'm the Black Rose. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited for y'all to be here and I am really excited because I just launched seven black roses. Yes, seven black roses is a centralized location for everything that this black rose has to offer with her painting, with my arts and crafts, anything creative that this brain does, it's going to be portrayed on those pages. Seven Black Roses is on Facebook. Hit that like, okay? Check me out. Also follow the Seven Black Roses Instagram. So it'll be at seven black roses underscore on Instagram. Everything will be linked down below. I'm super excited about this, super stoked. Painting is an escape for me. I love painting, I love getting lost in mixing colors and creating a masterpiece. I think about things all the time. There's so much that goes through my brain that I have ideas for and I just wanna put it on a canvas. I've been doing that for a while now. So it's nothing new. I'm just taking it a lot more serious now and I'm like, shoot, it's time to do this thing, okay? So there will be videos coming out of me painting, showing some tutorials, what I learned with acrylic painting. I am getting into a new form of painting and I'm having a lot of fun with it. It's called paint pouring. Paint pouring is you let that paint do what it do on the canvas, you let loose and let the paint have the control, okay? It's gonna do what it's wanting to do on that canvas, all right? Um, on a more serious note, I am affected, inspired, and I want to bring awareness to the Black Lives Matter movement. I am a black woman. I have a black family. I definitely am affected by what is happening in the world today. I love people. I especially love my people. I love when we win. I love that what is going on, some sort of change is going to happen. The main thing that I, I want is just equality among everybody because as soon as you cut open our skin, we're definitely gonna bleed the same. No man is better than anybody else. And that's just my views on it. But change is definitely going to happen. I'm going to continue to pray for it and we gonna get into it. I'm not trying to say that being black is a privilege. I just feel some sort of empowerment by being black. I know I'm different. I know I stand out. And I know that my people will definitely make a change. We definitely make a statement. You know when we arrive, okay? So doing this paint pour, and it's my very first paint pour. I'm super stoked about that as well. I'm still learning how to get into it and letting loose. It's definitely different than what I'm used to painting. I just wanna to continue to bring awareness to the movement. Now, I may only have a small platform, but I still want to do my part in bringing awareness to Black Lives Matter and supporting my community. So keep it locked. See how this painting turned out? Cause I love it. I really, really do. All right, so <laughs> stay tuned. Let's get it. All right, you guys, safety first. Put your gloves on, it's gonna get messy. right here. I like wetting my canvas when I acrylic paint. It just makes the paint go on a lot smoother. So we just gonna get this baby wet, like wet it up, wet, 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 mm, but not too wet, all right? <laughs> This is where I get really excited. We about to start pouring, y'all. Now, I don't know why I poured just a little bit, but look, like I said, this is my first time ever doing this, so I didn't know if I should just pour the entire thing on there or just pour a little bit. So keep it locked. You'll see. <laughs>
Now, don't this part look kind of cool? It could have just been the painting itself right here. But look at it just drop. But we gonna bring it around town. Bring that canvas around town. Let that paint pour. Let it drop to the flow. Hey, hey, let's get it, y'all. After continuous pouring, we have this, voila. I just keep pouring all the colors where I feel as though some may lack, some red where I feel like it's too much black, some green where I feel like it's too much black, some black where I feel like it's too much red. You get the gist. different ways that you could have poured but I found as though it was easy for me to just pour and then move pour move pour move so that's exactly what I did here and dude that is fucking sick okay yeah that is sick <laughs> All right, y'all, this is where I had the most fun on the painting. Now this is a 20 by 20 canvas, so I couldn't really spell Black Lives Matter all the way, but we just gonna do the B, L, M, and tell me why I practiced so much on a paper towel of where I was about to put these letters, but this is how it came out, okay? It has a mind of its own, and that's where you really just let loose and let the painting kind of do what it's going to do. Ooh, we're done. Mm, for now. Here's the piece when it's actually dry and I'm about to get into the fist. I only drew three fists on the painting because I don't want to take away from the other details. So here I'm mixing more colors to represent another shade of my community. We gotta make these fists look like actual fists, so we're just putting the outlines through everything right now.
And voila, there we have it, the finished piece.